there are many reasons why you can develop an aortic aneurysm and we're still trying to figure it out. Uh, but we do know that there's a genetic predisposition such that if someone in your family, a first degree relative has an aneurysm, you're, as li you're likely to get one about one out of six times. Um, also, if you have a history or a current cigarette smoker, uh, because of the atherosclerosis that can uh, form from cigarette smoking, it weakens the arterial wall and can lead to an aneurysm. Men are much more uh, likely to get aneurysms than women, and white males, especially of uh, Northern European descent, can get an aortic aneurysm. Uh, but again, anyone can get one, and we need to be screening people that are at risk because of uh, cigarette smoking and genetics. Also, high blood pressure can make an aneurysm become worse. So if you have the, the beginning of a aneurysm and you're not, your blood pressure is not well controlled, there's more pressure to make the, the aorta become larger and also then increase the risk of rupture. There are some other factors such as connective tissue disorders, a condition called Marfan's, will make uh, the aorta less strong and can lead to aneurysm creation. And things like uh, infection uh, and even trauma can rarely cause aortic aneurysms.